Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can create an animated GIF using Microsoft PowerPoint. And not only how you can create it, but then also how you can use it in your presentation to make your presentation look amazing, just like this. On that slide, one of the things I had was an animated open sign that loops. And I also had an animated GIF of the founder of the Kevin Cookie Company, me. And I'll show you how you can do both of those, how you could create animations, and then also how you could create animated GIFs from videos. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I no longer work at Microsoft. I'm an ex-Microsoft program manager. All right, well, let's jump on the PC and I'll show you how you can use it. Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft PowerPoint open. This is the latest and greatest version that comes with Microsoft 365. To work with animated GIFs, you need to be on Microsoft 365. Unfortunately, this functionality is not available in earlier versions of PowerPoint. Here on the slide, the Kevin Cookie Company is back. This is always the fictional company that I use for my tutorials when I talk through PowerPoint. One of my hopes is perhaps that if enough people watch these videos, the brand recognition of the Kevin Cookie Company will be pretty strong. And if I ever open a cookie location for my cookie company, I might actually get some traction with it. So here in the presentation, I have my intro slide. And on my second slide, I list out four new locations of the Kevin Cookie Company that are opening up. Now we have global, global ambitions, and we've now opened a location in London, Beijing, New York, and Frankfurt. Now I wanna put this slide up, and in the spirit of having a minimalist slide, I just wanna list the city names, and then maybe I could have an animated open sign on this slide so people can very quickly connect that I have now opened locations in, the, in these cities. To do that, first off, I want to insert a new slide. So I could select here under the last slide in my presentation and I could press the enter key to insert a new slide, or I could simply go up to the top ribbon in the home view, click on new slide, and I could insert a new blank slide. This blank slide will serve as a canvas for me to create my open sign. To create my open sign, the first thing I wanna do is click on the insert tab, and I'm gonna go over to shapes, and let's insert an oval shape onto the slide. I'll just go ahead and draw this. I think that's a good size. The next thing I wanna do is center this on my slide. So to center it, I'm gonna click on the image. By clicking on the image, it sets me in the shape format view. And over here under arrange, I could align it so it's in the center. And then I could also align it so it's in the middle. So this is now perfectly centered on my slide. Next, I wanna make sure the fill of my shape is black. So once again, I wanna make sure that my shape is selected. And within the shape format view under shape styles, I'm gonna click on shape fill and let me give it a black fill. Next, I also wanna make sure that my sign has a nice container. So for that, I'm gonna use the shape outline. I'll click on shape outline and let me go with a dark blue border around this. I'll go ahead and select this one. I think that looks good. And let me make it a little thicker just so it stands out a little more. Now I have my background and I have my border. The next thing I need to do is it is an open sign and it would help if I had some text that said open on it. So I'm gonna simply click within the shape and now I'm gonna type in open and let me type it in in all caps just so it really stands out. I'll go ahead, highlight the text there. I selected all the text. I'm gonna click on home and let me increase the font size on this so it takes up most of the sign. That looks pretty good right there. And next I'm also going going to set the text so it has a darker red font color. So there's the base of my open sign. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna set up an animation so the letters animate and the outside border animates. The easiest way to think of how an animation work, works is an animation is simply a collection of individual frames. So when you watch an animated movie, there are many, many thousands or hundreds of thousands of frames that make up a movie. In this case, we're, we're creating a very simple animation and we're only gonna need a few frames to make up this animation. Now for my animation, what I wanna do is each letter is going to turn on red. So first I'll have the O, and then the P will turn red, then the E, and then the N. So each step, 
each letter that lights up is one frame in the animation. So this is gonna be one, two, three, four frames to light up open. And then I'm also going to light up the border of my open sign and that's one more frame. So in total, I have the base, I have the four letters and I have the border. So in total, I'm gonna have six different frames as part of this animation. What I need to do is I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side, I'm gonna select my slide, and then I'm going to copy the slide. And the next thing I wanna do is paste it five times. So I'm gonna simply use Control V to paste, paste, and then I'm gonna do that three more times. So there I have six different slides that are gonna make up my animation. So slide one, this first frame is good. This is how the animation is going to start. In the second frame, the O is gonna light up in red. So I'm gonna select the O, then I'm gonna click on the font color and I'll select red. In the second frame, the next two letters are gonna, the next letter is gonna light up. And I'm gonna go through until the entire word open is lit up. Now that open is completely lit up, I'm gonna light it up again on the last slide. But here, what I wanna do is the shape is going to have a brighter border. So I'm gonna click on shape format after selecting the shape. And then I'm gonna go to shape outline and let me choose a lighter shade of blue. So the way to see See this now is if I go back up, the animation is going to start like this. Then I progress to the next slide, the next, the next, and the next, and then you see how the animation is going to look. Now that I've built the open sign and I've designed each frame of my animation, now I need to indicate how long each frame of my animation will stay up for. So I'm gonna select all six of these slides that are part of my animation, and now I need to define how long each step of the animation is. So once I select all of the slides, I'm gonna go over on the top bar and click on transitions. And within transitions, I could define how long it'll take until the next slide appears. Appears. And in this case, I want each one to appear for, let's say about half a second, so 0.5 seconds, and that looks good. So I have the timing of each of my animations. Now I wanna create an animated GIF on this. And what I'm gonna do is, first off, I'm gonna to scroll to the top of my slide sorter, and to save this as an animated GIF, I don't want these first three slides to be part of my animated GIF. So I'm gonna highlight the first three slides. You could select each slide and press Control, or you could simply click on the first slide, press Shift, and click on the third slide, and it'll highlight these three slides. As a next step, what I'm gonna do is right click on one of these slides and then I'll click on hide slide. So these three slides are hidden now. When you create an animated GIF, it'll only look at the slides that are visible. If you have any hidden slides, it won't include those as part of the animated GIF. So I have my six slides that are gonna be part of this image. How do I make an animated GIF? Well, what we're gonna do is let's click on file. Then I'm gonna go to save a copy Within save a copy, I simply wanna save a copy of this animated GIF on my desktop. And to do that, I'm gonna go down to other locations, click on browse, and then I'm gonna click on my desktop. And I'm gonna call this open sign animation. Once I type in the name of my animated file, I'm gonna click on save as type, and that'll give me a pretty massive list of different file types that I can save this as. The one I care about though is right here in a, just about the middle of the list called animated GIF format. Let's click on that. And then I'm gonna click on save. And now this will save my animated GIF. Here on my desktop, you'll see that I now have a new file called open sign animation. Let me click on that and let's see how it turned out. Here is my open sign animation, and just like we designed it in PowerPoint, it goes through, each letter lights up, the border lights up, and it'll continue looping again and again. With PowerPoint, when you create an animated GIF, there's no way to set a number of repetitions. Instead, it'll loop indefinitely. Now with this animated GIF, I'm gonna show you how to bring it back into PowerPoint and incorporate it into your slide. However, you could also take this animated GIF and you could use it anywhere at this point. Let's say you wanna put it on Facebook. Let's say you wanna include it in a text message. You could use it however you wanna use it. It is now an animated GIF that you can use anywhere. Here I am back in PowerPoint and I wanna show you how we could take this new beautiful open sign animation and use it in the slide presentation. 
The first thing that I need to do though is the first three slides are currently hidden. I wanna make them visible again. So I'm gonna select the first three slides. Once again, I'm gonna click on the shift key so I could highlight all three of them. And then we're gonna right click on it and go down and untoggle hide slide. That'll make all three of our slides visible again. I want to insert the open sign into slide number two because once again, I want to show people that we're opening all these locations throughout the world. To insert the open sign animation, I'm going to go up to the top bar, click on insert, and within insert, I want to insert a picture. And the picture is on my device, so I'll click on this device. Once the file picker opens up, navigate to where you saved your animation. I put mine on the desktop, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the open sign animation, and now I can go ahead and insert it. Here the open animation is now on my slide, but it's not quite what I'd expect. It's the open sign with a lot of white around the open sign. To get rid of that, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna click on the animation, so the animation is now selected, and that opens up the picture format area of the ribbon. And over on the left-hand side, there's an option to adjust the color. When I click on that, I wanna set a transparent color. I'm gonna click on set transparent color, and what I could do is I'm gonna set white as the transparent color and when I do that it gets rid of the background and I'm just left with the open sign. I'll adjust the size a little bit and now maybe I move it to the top right hand corner of my slide and there's a view of my slide. I have all my locations and then this pretty cool animation that says open. Now that we've inserted our animated open sign the next thing I want to show you how to do is how we could create an animated GIF based on a video file. You see this often online where people create an animated GIF, say using a clip of a movie or using a clip of a TV show. So how do we do this? Well, over on the slide sorter, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom, click below slide number nine, and I'm gonna hit the enter key to insert a new slide. Now, what we wanna do next is we need to insert a video clip. And to do that, let's go up to the top bar, click on insert, and over on the far right-hand side, you have the option to insert a video. You can insert a video from online, so think services like YouTube, or you could insert a video from your PC. Now, I'm simply gonna drag and drop an existing video from my PC onto this slide, and you might recognize the video. It's another video where I talked about the Kevin Cookie Company, and I'm gonna simply take the video clip and center it on my slide. Now, this is a longer video, it's almost a 10 minute video and I don't want to save a 10 minute long animated GIF. First off, the file size would probably be ridiculous. And second of all, I probably wouldn't be able to do with any do anything with such a large file. So I need to cut it down. Luckily, believe it or not, PowerPoint has a very basic video editor. To access it, I wanna click on my video file, go up to the top bar and click on playback. Within playback, I have an option to trim the video. And I wasn't kidding, PowerPoint really does have a basic video editor. And I'm gonna click on trim video. And within here, I could use the markers to define which part of the clip where I want it to start and where I want it to end. I could also simply type in the time of when it should start and when it should end. I just want the first three seconds, so I'm gonna type in three, and it looks like both the opening clip and the ending clip have very awkward images of me, but we're just gonna roll with it because this is a tutorial after all. So I'll go ahead, let's click on OK. So now I've indicated when the clip starts and when it ends. I'll mute for a moment and let's see what the video clip looks like. This will be my animated GIF. Now, one of the things that you typically see with animated GIFs is you have some type of caption or something else that shows up alongside with it. The really nice thing about creating an animated GIF with a video file in PowerPoint is you could use all the shapes, you could insert text, you could insert whatever you want on top of the video file. And I'm gonna have some fun and I'm gonna do that. So let's go up to the insert menu and I'm gonna insert a shape and within shapes, I'm gonna go down to call outs and I'm gonna insert a little call out on this slide and let me type in some fun text. I typed in, these cookies are delicious. This is a Kevin Cookie Company presentation and I need to make sure that the founder is reinforcing the message. So I have this call out. I'm gonna make it look more like a proper call out. I'm gonna select the shape, then I'm gonna go up to shape fill and let me give it a white background. 
For the text itself, I'm gonna click on home and then I'm gonna choose a font color and maybe I'll just simply go with kind of a dark gray, black looking color and let me expand the font size just so it stands out a little bit more but still fits within the call out. And it wouldn't be a great call out unless I really indicate that it's coming from me. So there we go, there's the call out. Now that I've inserted the call out, I have the video file set to the amount of time that I want it to appear for. The next thing I need to do now is save the animated GIF. And just like we did before, we're gonna follow those same exact steps. So what I need to do first is I'm gonna select all the slides that I don't want to have be part of this animation and I need to hide these slides. So I'm gonna click on slide nine, press the shift key and then click on slide one. I'm gonna right click and then go down to hide slide. So now slides one through nine are all hidden and only slide 10 is visible. Next, I wanna go up to the file menu and I'm gonna click on save a copy. And once again, I'm gonna put this on my desktop. So I'm gonna click on browse. I'm gonna navigate to my desktop and here I'm gonna call this the founder animated GIF because I am the founder of the Kevin Cookie Company. And under the save as type, I need to click on that. And once again, let's go down to animated GIF format and now I could click on save. It'll take a little bit longer to save the file because this animation is based off of a video file and it's a little more complex than the open sign animation that we created. Here on my desktop, I now have another file called the founder animated GIF. Let me click on that and look at that animated GIF. You could have some fun with this. And just like with the open sign animation, we could use this anywhere. So I could bring this to Facebook, I could bring it to the Twitter, wherever I wanna post this animated GIF, I can do that. But once again, I wanna show you how we could use this in PowerPoint. So let's jump back into PowerPoint. Here within PowerPoint, what I'm gonna do is let me hide the slide that I just added. I'm gonna hide this one and I'm gonna scroll back up and I'm gonna make my initial three slides visible again because these are the slides that I ultimately want to present. So these are all visible again. And on slide three, this is where I wanna have a little bit of fun with my presentation or maybe a little bit of humor. So this is where the animated GIF with the founder could be a good addition. So I'm gonna click on insert, go to pictures, select from this device, and then here's my founder founder animated GIF and I'll insert it in the middle of my slide. Now if I go to the top of my presentation, I could show you what it looks like from the top. So here's my introduction, the Kevin Cookie Company. Then we jump into all the locations that we recently opened with a very cool animated open sign. And then we jump into the third slide where there's an animated GIF of me telling people how delicious these cookies are. All right, well that was a quick example of how you could create your very own animated GIF using Microsoft PowerPoint. You could either bring that animated GIF back into PowerPoint or you could use it elsewhere, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, a text message, wherever you wanna use the animated GIF, you can. If this video helped you learn how to create an animated GIF, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. That's how I build my list of videos to create. It comes from viewers like you. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.